Good morning. Welcome to Sports Radio 1310, The Ticket. Joining me in the studio today is Dr. Jeremy Webster. We're talking about diets that don't work for some, but do wonders for many other people. And we're talking about why some diets work for some people and why they don't for others and why some are dangerous, how they can benefit people and they can actually work against you and how a diet can actually help you to gain results in the beginning but then backfire later on and make you ha gain more weight than where you first started. So before we get into all that, I just mentioned to you, Dr. Webster, that I have a new dog, new puppy. Oh, yeah. I got a bull mastiff. And you have a son, so you'll be able to relate to this, I'm sure. Anybody who has a dog and is not in a routine yet or a baby, you can be empathetic toward what happened this morning or lack thereof. Um, if you go on my Facebook, look me up on Facebook, something I did that was extremely gross, just go on my wall. Uh, let me see if I can see, if I could read this to you. This is all about being in routines, and if I have this here, I'm going to share it with you really fast. Uh, I guess I don't have it here. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. you got You got to do this. Okay, so I wrote this on my Facebook the other day because this is what happens when you're not in a routine and you're delirious. Here's the grossest thing that's ever happened to me. Here's what happens when you're dehydrated. You're too hot to think straight. I gave my new puppy water. I had water also and I made and wanted to make it easier for him to drink from a nozzle because I had a bottle of water obviously that had a nozzle on it instead of the bowl that he had so, I, so he can finish his water. I transferred his water to my bottled water and then gave it to him out of the nozzle. Seems nice. Yeah. That's nice, That's right? Nice. Yeah. After 15 minutes of sweating profusely, I was thirsty, well I'm sure you guessed it, I drank from the water bottle with his water in it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, after putting his, his water in my bottled water, I drank from it. <laughs> so then this morning, this isn't anywhere near as bad, but it's, it is if you're about five feet from me like Dr. Webster is. Mm. I'm wondering why you're turning the other way. I go through my, what I think is my entire routine, but I keep thinking about Buddy, my dog, and what he's doing, make sure he's, everything's okay with him. He's not going to go to the bathroom, even though he already did. He doesn't know any better. He's a puppy, blah, blah, blah. I leave the house, and I start thinking, man, what did I have that gave me that bad taste in my mouth? <laughs> I'm thinking about the breakfast. I'm thinking about I had the Papua coffee that we talked about that's good for you. And all of a sudden, I realize I didn't brush my teeth. Oh, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's keeping you up a little at night, is he? <laughs> well, no, actually, he's sleeping. I didn't sleep well last night. I don't know why, but I didn't sleep well. And so I'm going through everything, and my, I got the yuck, nasty, sulfur mouth going mm. on. So I just thought I'd share with everybody that Dr. Webster, if you feel bad for him, give him a shout-out, find him on Facebook, and say, I'm sorry you had to deal with that with George today. Okay, so coming up next, you and I are going to discuss certain popular... I won't say good diets, but popular diets sure. that people have used or are using now, like the HCG diet I introduced to you or shared with you, and all of that crap. And I also want to talk about something I wrote about on Facebook last night about, and we'll briefly discuss this, about how there's this crossover of professions. You have doctors giving nutritional advice, you have personal trainers giving medical advice, we have aerobic instructors who aren't personal trainers but think they are giving personal training advice. Right. Okay, so, so I think we need to talk about sticking with our own field and gaining more respect and getting respect back, not only from clients and patients and customers, but from each profession. I think you're right. Okay, so we need to do that and how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to talk next with Dr. Jeremy Webster. Again, about popular diets that seemingly work in the beginning, but backfire later on. And also some diets that actually do work can be popular and can be effective, but not necessarily with everybody. What's missing? Is it hormone related? Ah, think about that for a moment. So we'll talk about that coming up next. It's 706 Sports Radio 1310 The Ticket. 713 Sports Radio 1310 The Ticket. George D. John Train Station Fitness Show. 
Dr. Jeremy Webster's in the studio. We're talking about why some diets don't work for people, but more importantly, why do certain diets work for some and that same diet provided to other people have complied with the way the diet was written will not work for them. What's missing, Dr. Webster? I, I often think that, let me, let me back up for a moment. I was in San Diego last weekend, and not only is the weather nice, but the people were the nicest people I've ever met anywhere I've ever traveled. Really? And anywhere. I mean, they were super nice. They, were, they would initiate conversation, even if it's a good-looking girl. I mean, it was just, they were very nice, but everybody was fit. And I've like Dallas, I, right? Yeah, well, yeah, like <laughs> Dallas. Are we still one of the fattest cities? We are. I think it's. I think we're number five. I, I don't remember. We were last year, but um, you know, I saw three fat people in five days in San Diego. That's that's pretty rare. Well, supposedly, I think San Diego is the is the fittest city in America. Really? I think so. If it's not this year, it was last year. So, but every, everybody's fit, and my, I'm going to go out on a limb and just guess here, and I think you'd agree with me. Nobody's on a diet out there. Probably not. Nobody's, nobody's like all frustrated, well, let me try the latest diet, the latest fad. They're just exercising, they're active. You have people who are biking and jogging, which there's a lot of that here. Uh, you have surfing, you have people just walking on the beach. You, um, uh, they're doing a bunch of different activities. They're always active. So even if you're not in the gym or, or running or bike, biking, the weather's great. 365 days a year. I mean, we're talking about the entire year or 320 days a year. Yeah. I was talking to my buddy. It changes, does it? It's, it's fantastic weather. But you're, So you're always outside. You're always active. And I saw John Asraf out there. He was on the show. Um, where we talked about having it all. If you ever see, seen the movie, the DVD, The Secret, the documentary, The Secret, John was in there, and I got in touch with him while I was out there, and he was in Del Mar Beach, and just everybody is always active, and they look fantastic, but not fantastic from a standpoint of being pulled. You know, it, it's LA, weird. It wasn't right, a no, lot that's of that's more LA. Yeah, right. <laughs> it wasn't a lot of plastic surgery. Right. So it made me think. Okay, if we can duplicate this or replicate this in other places where we just get people to be active more often than not, then I don't think people would have to mind screw about whether a, they have to get on the next diet that their friend did or what's, what's in the media because I venture to guess these people really don't care what's in the media about the latest diet. They're just outside active and happy. And that's that's about all it takes. I mean, in a, in a way, you have to eat right also. You do have but, to eat right, you said they're that eating right. When you said that nobody's on a diet, well, we're all what, you're talking, diet. what you're talking about are the, the hey, I'm going to go on this particular right. diet for eight weeks right. or for six months or something like that because they have a goal in mind. Once they reach the goal, then they're not on that diet anymore, mm -hmm. right? Right. And that's the wrong way to go. Well, one of the things I talked about, I wrote about this on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook, and I don't know if you'll agree with this. A diet is considered any food or beverage with a caloric value. You're on a diet. It just happens to be somebody with a marketing uh, uh, phrase, if, if, if you will. They, they, put, they put marketing behind it and say, okay, well, now I'm on a diet, and it, but it has to be a, something specific. It's, it, you know. Is it going to be a short-term gimmick thing, or is yeah. it going to be a long-term lifestyle? And thing? we're talking about some gimmicks today. What is it, before somebody goes on a specific eating plan or diet, we'll call it diet for the for purpose of this show, what should someone look for in a specific diet? So we don't have to talk about one right now. Right. But what should be addressed in a specific uh, diet to know that you're going to gain results that you seek? Well, first of all, um, I, I think they all also always need to be health promoting. That's that's the number well, one. Well, come thing on, we all know, we all know that. Give, well, give me not, something. Not, no, not really, George. There are a lot of people who go on diets with a goal in mind, like I want to lose ten pounds, and they don't care about how unhealthy it is. Okay. I, I, I see what you're saying. Because I mean, everybody it, normally is wants to do a diet because they want to become healthier, not recognizing no, not really. that they do a diet. Because I, I, I disagree with you. Really? I think a lot of people don't care about the health. They just care about what the scale says. All right. Yes, so, I, I know that that happens. I just thought the majority would not be. But go now, ahead. I, I, now, if 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 uh, if you want to have long-term results, that's not going to work. The only you have to it has to be completely health promoting because if you don't, you're going to damage your metabolism and. In the long in the long run, those diets that do that are not health promoting um, are going to, to ruin your metabolism to the point where you can't lose weight, and in fact, you're probably going to gain weight because you've damaged your metabolism because of this unhealthy type of diet. And that's may, true for even if you have damaged your metabolism to a point that 
even if you go on a healthy diet, one that is healthy for you, and you stop doing all the yo-yo dieting, uh, that you may.